Hi everyone, Rusty here at Blue Robotics with a new product update. Today I'm sitting in a new space that we just added across the way from our main facility. We're going to be doing some cool things in this space that we'll share in the next few months. Today we've got two new electronic components. The SOS leak sensor and an I2C level converter for the BAR30 pressure and depth sensor and the Celsius temperature sensor. Let's start with the leak sensor. Named after the International Morse Code Distress Signal, the SOS leak sensor can detect just a few drops of water in an enclosure and let you know that something's wrong. While we don't expect our enclosures to leak, the sensor can give you a little extra peace of mind that everything is safe. At the core of the sensor is the probe host board, which has the electronics necessary to detect a leak, along with signal header pins to connect to a Pixhawk, Arduino, or other computer. On the other end are four connectors for probes, so that you can connect multiple probes to a single host board. And last, there's a big bright red LED that illuminates if a leak is detected to provide a visual warning. The probes are simple but effective. At one end is a JST connector that plugs into the probe host board. At the other end are two pins that are bridged by an adhesive back sponge that's easy to install anywhere. If there's a leak, that sponge absorbs water and activates the leak sensor. It takes just about two drops, which is the perfect amount to activate the sensor early, but to avoid detecting humidity or condensation as a leak. The SOS leak sensor comes with four probes, but they're also available separately in a few different lengths and styles. The probe tips are also available and easy to replace in the field. The leak sensor is already supported in RGSub and quick to install on the Blue Hour V2. I'm going to give you a quick demo here. I've got an SOS leak sensor with a single probe with a Pixhawk Autopilot running RGSub connected to Q ground control on this laptop. With this pipette, I'm going to put a few drops of water on the sensor. Leak detected. Check that out. The LED turns on, the Pixhawk recognized it immediately, and Q ground control is giving us a warning of the leak. leak. A leak sensor like this is great on any underwater project. Our next new product is an I2C level converter for the BAR30 pressure and depth sensor and Celsius temperature sensor. Both of those devices can only communicate with 3.3 volt logic, which makes it a little difficult to communicate with a 5 volt device like an Arduino Uno. The new level converter plugs directly into both sensors and provides header pins to connect to a 5 volt device. It converts the I2C communication to 3.3 volts and keeps the sensor happy. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. If you're in the US, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. We'll see you next time.